Every exam question, and therefore every exam answer, has to be about one of only a few well-known elements. For now, let's catalogue what they are, and later we'll explore their content and the interrelationship between their component parts. Every question has to be about some process. There are seven processes in prints. There's the starting up a project process, which receives the mandate, builds the team, and identifies what it is that we're trying to achieve. The initiating a project process that says how we're going to approach delivering a result. The controlling a stage and managing a product delivery processes, which are the project manager and specialist team members building products and being in control of the progress created. There's the stage boundary process that refreshes plans each time we get to a position where we've worked forwards through a defined stage but still have more project work to do. There's the closing the project process that says we're finished. And there's the decision making that happens between all the other chunks above the level of the project manager, which is the directing a project process. These seven processes work by creating and exchanging up to 26 project management products, as well as whatever specialist and technical products the project is creating for the user community. There are 26 specialist management products which cover progress reports and exception reports and configuration item records and a number of other record keeping needs. And these processes and records and baselines are manipulated by somebody who fulfills some role within the Prince project. There are nine possible roles. The executive, senior user and senior supplier together comprise the project board. The executive is the decision maker. The senior supplier says what's required and the senior user provides the expertise to make it. These three roles together retain assurance accountability and they also hold change authority. But they may delegate both project assurance and change authority activity to other people, normally on the basis of people with more expertise and or time. Roles also include the project manager and of course the technical team members. Team members may be organised such that they have team managers and project management may be such a large amount of activity that it needs support, either specialist support in terms of things like a critical path analysis or administrative support in terms of things such as booking rooms. But this is only half of the things that we need to consider because there are another group of sevens that we need to consider.